This episode brought to you by Seasonal Sex Aids. There's a reason that winter is coming. Hey everybody, we're watching Game of Thrones Season 1, Episode 1. And you're watching the Binge Watchers on the Wall. This is the journey of one man who knows way too much about Game of Thrones. And one man who has never seen it. This cast commentary presents Binge Watchers on the Wall, a Game of Thrones podcast. Now here are your hosts, Joe Finley and Todd Murray. Hey everybody, welcome to the Binge Watchers on the Wall. I'm Joe Finley. I'm Todd Tebow, the Sailor Murray. And we begin for you... Holy fuck, here we go. ...a new type of journey, a new marathon of sorts... Uh, of sorts, so that's exactly what it is. But yes, it is. But also, it's a very different one because this is something that Todd has never seen. Never. So this is going to be not only our commentary of it, but Todd's reaction to it. Yes. Uh, so a lot of. I tell you, honestly, like I was not like I now I'm like kind of on board. Yeah. I'm sure I'll like it. You know what I like. Yeah. I'm like, oh, so, God, it's like pulling pubes. I'm like, okay, here we go. We may, if if this doesn't work out by the end of the first season, we may abandon it and do something else. Uh, so no guarantees that like we'll make it to the end. like all the fans of the show should have done. But, Boom. Oh, no. Mm, don't mm. do that. Don't do that to us. Sorry about that. We're not. We, we ha- I was going to say, we haven't even gotten our success <laughs> yet to have taken it away. Um, but we are doing... The entire series of Game of Thrones. Boom. Uh, just as we begin recording these, I mean, you're not going to hear these for a while, but as we begin recording these, uh, the show has about three weeks removed. Something like about that. About a month removed. I mean, the, the, the fervor uh, is still mm-hmm. hasn't died down yet. Mm-hmm. The, the, the outrage, the heartbreak. Yeah, exactly. The demands for rewrites, demands do yeah. the whole season again. Exactly. And they're actually I'll do it. And good news because as we know the creators of this show are doing a Star Wars movie and it's actually a remake of this and The Last Jedi combined. Oh my god, yes. It's giving everybody what they That's want. That's what we campaigned for. They did it. Yes. I was okay. like I was like give everybody what they want just in one that thing, the thing so they too. could all shut the fuck up. Yeah, cuz they were saying like oh the guys who did it they're going to you know they wreck this so they'll obviously wreck everybody wreck Star Wars. So don't yeah. worry about it. It doesn't yeah. matter what you do. Yeah, you never had a happy childhood. All right, guys, there's only one way to get this thing going, this whole series, and that is to press play. Mm. Oh, he already pressed it. Already HBO. Press it. I haven't seen HBO in forever. Yeah. I have not seen HBO since Tales from the Crypt was on. Oh, my God. I fucking loved HBO. They had tits. Yeah. Okay, wait, there's gates rumbling. Yes. And there's rattling. It's pretty too. fucking windy out there. Uh, but we, uh, like, to me, every time I hear that, uh, the HBO, uh, I always, the next fo- sound I hear is, huh! Because it's always Oz to me, man. Or Deaf Comedy Jam. I always remember Deaf Comedy Jam. Uh, okay. Okay, this guy's clearly just become a man because he like drew his mustache and beard on. Yeah. He looks like his, he, his, it's rumored his father's like the Chinese emperor. Yeah. So he's got like this fucking facial hair. What's really funny to me is I just, um, I did the audiobook of this. Uh, well, like I'm you had sex commu- with it. Yes, I did it. Fuck it, what right? I mean, you did the audio I, book. I listened to the audio book while I was like driving to and from work and stuff like that, right? Of the books. So, yes. That's the I thought audiobook. it was just like a transcript of this. I was like, she watched the show and then listened to it? No. No, there's an... Ooh, look at this. <laughs> yeah, but... Uh, I thought they are going to like the beer room to get like a beer, the ice cold beer. That yeah. is probably the place to keep your beer and your... Whoa. Yeah. So what you're uh, witnessing right now is the wall, uh, which is... Uh, Far north in Westeros. I would guess. Yes, and it separates uh, wild. Yes. I was just going to say, maybe it's not. We know this to be the north. Maybe this is the south of this land. Yes. Maybe Iceland is down south. Well, this is south of something. They're breaking off. This guy's breaking off. They're going somewhere. They look pretty Mm -hmm. serious. I think they probably always look pretty serious in this fucking land. Well, what's really interesting in this, actually, uh, the first three minutes, there's not a moment of dialogue, and you actually don't meet a major character for nine minutes. In this episode, so we've got uh, we've got some time to kill. Uh, spoiler alert! It looks really and yet nice. You don't see that many. Oh no! And yet you don't see that. And yet you don't see that many. Directors <laughs> deciding they're going to write. Oh fuck it! It's gone. Nice. I screwed. That was from a previous other episode. So we've nice. already screwed like up our that. first special Good. episode. Good. It's, that's what makes it All special. Right. 
So it's just like every other episode. I went to hit the spoiler alert button, but I missed. That's what I get for having two purple buttons next to each other. This guy looks like he's seen better days. Mm -hmm. In the books, I'm not going to be getting into this, by the way. I hate the whole, well, in the books, this is different. No, that's not bad. I don't mind that kind of thing. But, well, if it's something significant, I would. But, like, when I've been going through the research and stuff, so far it's, like, been very, like, whatever like for example is it close this guy oh, oh yeah this season one of this is season is the first book uh the books are the series of books is a but song of ice and fire the first book is called a game of thrones so ooh, are those body parts yeah okay so we're seeing some shit so, here ooh, so in the, severed yeah. heads on yeah. spikes yeah so in the in the book that guy's ooh. just an old man and this guy's looking around for a half of a lady yeah, the, the, yeah she's the right. so warm. It's like, I don't even care what half. How did you miss that one? They're bad. Well, he crawled. He was crawling and went past. Those are the good looking severed heads and dead bodies, yeah. man. Well, that's what I say, man. They put some money into this. And they, I think he, and he, it's HBO. each episode was like 16 million or something. Um, or was that Rome? It, I don't know how Rome oh, was. Oh, it's in like a symbol. Yeah. I remember watching this and being thrown way off. I'm like, what the hell does any of this mean? <laughs> like. Oh, they have folklore about whoever lives beyond the wall or something. Yeah, there's a lot to learn about this. So they're just talking oh, about God. the wild. They're just talking about the wildlings. It's just basically another group of humans that just live north of the wall. That's okay. And he's just together, rip each other apart at a moment's notice. Mm-hmm. You look at him cockeyed. Yeah. Well, and it's you have that like you know those preconceived notions uh, of like some of these people may have never even like encountered wildlings, but they're like well, right. wildlings. So there's tales fun. of yeah. them. This guy's right. Listen to this guy. Yeah. Their mission was to find the wildlings. They found them, and now something even worse than them has clearly murdered them. Yeah. So let's go. That guy looks a little bit like Matt Damon. With he like a greasy totally haircut. looks like fucking Matt Damon, like yeah. fourteen. Yeah, fourteen. Well, um, or no, it's like, this is Matt Damon when he started in that Chinese movie. <laughs> right? The yeah. Wall or whatever. The Great Wall. Yeah. yeah. yeah this will actually, Who is this work, guy? We're on Who's the this wall. guy? I don't know his name off the top oh, so of So he's my not head. very it's big then. Not, fuck yeah. him. He's just the introduction to the Yeah, this is gonna, guys This is going to be your spoiler alert. Says, What's this guy's name? I don't know. Oh, yeah, so he's probably dead soon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. There you go. This is going to be, I hope this is not like the beginning of like some of those, you know, Steven Spielberg's, the Chekhov's, where there's so many characters with so many yeah. nicknames and so many uh, brethren, and this guy's a cousin, and well, then the cousin's married to this person, and they're like, oh, fuck. Well, I'll tell you, there's not, I, I mean, they do a better job in this show than the book, because in the book, they have names like, literally, there's Yara, Jara, Jora, J- exactly. like, and, and there's so many of yeah. them, and yeah. like you, and like you know, going into this, that there's going to be a billion characters, like freaking Lord of the Rings, right? But for so, like, and then there's Asha, Osha, Osha, and I'm like, what are you doing? Like, did you not even? Think? Oh yeah, like come on, man. But then there's Kevin, <laughs> and then <laughs> Kevin. Yeah, it's very, it's very funny I'll the way they decide to do things. Here. Is, is this all sets or what? It looks good. Um, no, most of this is shot on location in numerous places in like Europe and stuff like that. They shoot in Ireland. They shoot in Iceland. They shoot in like Morocco. They shoot in all these like kind of very different places to make very. I, like I know some of this is set, but I don't know what is. HBO other. should be really proud of themselves, not only just like for this, but. HBO, they were the first ones in the game, man. They mm-hmm. were the first ones making their own shows. Yeah. Like rated R stuff and, you know, all push the envelope and, and they're still going. And because they know what people want. They know what to get the rights yeah. to. It's. And they rarely don't hit a home oh, run. Oh, fuck. Look at this guy. Oh, we're getting our first look at the, white, at the White Walker. Oh, fuck. I used to like, yeah. I, you know, I'm not asking questions, but I like that. No, ask thinking, as many like, do questions. Do they know as you them? Want, but... Don't answer them, though, right? They're going to be spoilers. Yeah. Do they no, know no. of the White Walkers, or is this the first yes. time anybody's ever seen them? I. Uh, You'll hear a bit more about it, oh, but uh, you'll 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 learn what they know and what they oh, don't Jesus. know about that. Is what I'll say. Well, so you get possessed by them. That was the kid that was like stuck to the tree. Yeah. See, like you're getting a real sense of what's to be already in this without even meeting a friggin' character yet. Okay, this is a good beginning. I don't know what I saw. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'll, I'll know. I'll say when I think that I've seen, because I saw yeah. a little piece of an episode. Mm-hmm. They kicked some kid out the window because he saw two, yeah. like a brother and sister having sex. Oh, there you go. But the um, uh, the thing you're missing, though, is the mayor from The Wire shows up a little while later oh. and goes, she. <laughs> they just start, Sweet, right? This is actually a best of. Uh, Carrie from Sex in the City shows up and then get her to, finest heels. Yeah. And then goes to a. Uh, oh, fuck. Yeah. Ooh. Whoa. So, so you know, a little bit there of sweet. Buddy's death. head. 
Hopefully, the you're bl- watching this one with this. What is he like? The Predator's brother? Yeah. He's. Uh, I think it's Chris Christopherson. Oh, if nice. I'm being honest, no makeup. But, yeah. Yeah. I'm Whistler. Jesus, they, we're going to have to cut that out Their again. look will change through the series. They get a little bit better. So this is actually important. Is that like so died to me? No, kind no, of he reminded look, me of the Orakai or Sean yes. Bean. Yeah. So you're, you're going to see a lot of names. You're going to... Uh, oh, my God. Are we, are we looking this, through the dragon's no, eyes? No, what you're looking through right oh. now is this is the map of the world. This is actually really important, especially at the beginning of each season. Yeah, because easy. you're... Yeah, uh, Amelia. Like, tons of people, dude. Uh, Did but, you just almost say Amelia Estevez? No, Amelia Clark, I oh. was going to say. Um, <laughs> but, like, it's giving you the map Ooh. so you have a sense of geography. Flat Earth. With what's going on, right? Yeah, that's flat, flat, flat. Did you see that? It's a flat Earth, yes. Fucking right it is. Um but so they give you like these close ups. So you're like, oh, this is an important area. This is Winterfell that it's showing right now. Uh, this is a very weird way to experience the show as I'm saying it now. Uh, I don't. So, this okay. is how I watch everything. That's good. Yeah, with, with I me. fucking talk through it and then I have to watch it again over mm-hmm. and 50 times. So here's the wall. I love the. To me, this is still one of the most creative opening sequences ever. And this changes from season to season because d- different areas. Are, are basically out of our focal something, point, right? but then also you will find in certain episodes, like there's an episode where one area gets destroyed, and you actually see it that it's destroyed in the oh. next opening sequence, and you see that like, there's fires and stuff like that. Now we go over to Pentos. Now we're across the ocean. Oh, this is neat. In this bit, so there's this is a neat opening. I like this a lot. It is very it's cool. Like going through like some cool diorama. Exactly. And they're like forging it in fire. Mm-hmm. And also what's neat is that what's his name's in this, that big dwarf midget uh, little guy. Peter remember Dinklage? he made the, that was like the beginning. Like he was made, remember he, he helped make Stormbreaker. Yes. And now that beginning. <gasps> Speaking of which, did you see the, at, when we were at Comic-Con, did you see the giant Stormbreaker weapon that somebody had made? No. The thing weighed about 40 pounds. Wow. I, I went to pick it up and I was like, oh my God, like what is this for? And uh, my brother-in-law, Went over to look at it and it was broken. And the guy was, and it was like $275 or something like that. And the guy's like, I have another one in the back if you want one. And he's like, but I'll give you this one at a discount. It's broken. And he's like, it's broken. I was like, it depending on how broken. it was, because somebody, I guess, yeah. picked it up and then dropped it. And I'm like, dude. I would have charged them for that. Yeah. Okay, we're in Winterfell. So we're and on- his name is Peter Dinklage. He's a great actor and he is a little person. Yes. He is. Look at this place. Like, there's always somebody to break the mold when you have, like, assumptions about somebody. Like, little people as actors are always playing, like, you know, elves or what have he's, you, he's, right? He's kind of broken the mold. And that, that's what I'm saying yeah. is there's always yeah, somebody to do that. And he was the guy. When he did the station agent, yep, he did that's that. It. Right? There he is. Sean Bean was born to be in this. Yeah. I, I almost wonder if he, like, hesitated because this has such a similar... It does. When I saw this town there, I was like, just like, geez, where are we here? Fucking Lord of the Rings? And that's exactly it. Like, anything that feels medieval has that instantly, right? It's so weird to see these people as children now, especially when you, like, I've watched, like, all the last episodes and, you know, eight years have passed. And they're oh, I saw her now. picture. Something happened to her. Yeah. They bully her online or something for her character or some shit. Oh, I'm sure everybody got here got bullied online. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm going to pay attention to these faces. But, All these fucking white people look the so, same to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to feature two different actors from the show per episode that we do. Okay. So because like we can't blow our wad in trying to talk about everybody or we just run is, out of time. Is the mother next to Sean Bean mm-hmm. the the mother from... Uh, 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 she's the private detective, Purple Man. I don't believe is so. Is that her mother? I don't believe so. Look at so. her again. I still don't believe so. I've seen Remember her crazy android mother or whatever? Yeah, but I, I don't think so. But I will, we'll double check when we get into her character. Okay, we'll, yeah, like, we'll there, when we go. talk about her. Uh, but we will talk about, like, this one we're going to talk about Sean Bean and Mark Addy. Uh, Sean Bean is in uh, Possessor coming up that was actually directed by David Cronenberg's son, Brandon. Ooh. Uh, he's got an anim- animated movie called The Watch coming up. Or, no, sorry, called Watch the Skies. And he's playing Macbeth in an adaptation called Instruments of Darkness. Um. The interesting thing, the only no, okay, there you go. The only award he's ever won for acting was for best cast for Lord of the Rings: Return of the King, and he's only in the show in the movie for three seconds as archival footage. Sweet, I take it. So and he and and no lines. It's just him literally. Oh, they give Oscars away to the fucking dorkos, man. Like who cares? You know what I mean? If if you're gonna whine over it, which he doesn't, but you know what I'm saying. Like it's not, you know. Yeah. You never, you, obviously, it's nice to win one, but if you never did, you're still a fucking man. You're Sean Bean. Yeah. So we've got a little bit of uh, 
anger between these fucking two. Mean, really bad guy. Yeah, Kit Harrington. Now, uh, while like he's got that kind of like eh, like like wiener face, but uh, it's like it totally works for she this character. was well, i'm sure they they cast him properly yeah, oh yeah. they're not they digging this guy also his first uh so as we're gonna learn right here uh the men this guy is a member of what's called the night's watch and if you abandon the night's watch you are there you you are sworn to them until you die if you abandon them you are put to death oh uh, so he should have stayed and died with them yes that was his ah uh, so like job. why aren't you dead yeah exactly fucker but like Sean Bean. Like a shit rule. Who's going to tell you what happened? Somebody's going to run up. Somebody's going to survive. Yeah, I, do. I kind of agree. Yeah, no, I'm but, sure that rule applies no, to the king, too. No but, yeah. here's, no, but here's, well, A, the king's not in the Night's Watch. So oh, that's, see, that's how they get away with that, that one. Well, only the people, like, you have to join or be forced to, like, criminals will be forced right. to join the Night's Watch. But, like, if he went back to the Night's Watch, he wouldn't have abandoned them. He could have gone back there and told them. Right. But instead, he ran away from them altogether. Probably would have run too. Yeah, totally. I never would have came home. I would have been like, "They're gonna kill me." Like, mm-hmm. I'm just gonna fucking run the other way, I, and maybe I'll yeah. live. I really appreciate the makeup of like the like bro- the broken down like like all his like dried dirty out old lips. lips. And, yeah, yeah, they're not sugarcoating this. I like that. No. They're probably gonna have dirty old teeth too, right? Oh god. When you watch like those cowboy movies, and they have the cleanest, pearliest yeah. white teeth. You're like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, you can smell their vaginas. Like, <laughs> it's not a. Uh, this is a dirty, dirty movie. Or I'm trying to read all the. I know it's a lot of. Everybody has. Holy like, Jesus, fifteen titles, right? Every, everybody has fifteen titles, and the king, like whoever is king or queen at the time, is just like, Whoa, boom, brutal. Like, that is a heavy ass sword too. And the sword is called ice, by the way. It's not. It doesn't really come up except in the book. But that's a little brutal, man. Yeah, yeah. You did well not flinching when that guy got his head chopped off. Yeah. Well, they've got to. Uh, it is like they all get brought here as kids eventually to learn about the law as Ugh. it is right and that's i guess even in just start, like regular old medieval times this is kind of how it was if you much. Were... it's like the fifth head he's chopped off mm-hmm. basically how do you like, like though like the art uh, like the that wolf art on that shield and stuff like that that's their sigil who for did their all their and... shit what do you mean like who did all their like costumes and i don't honestly know well, they did a good job yeah it's that real fur <laughs> better not probably be. they wiped out a whole forest just for this scene yeah. yeah, so you learn a lot about... Like, That's a good quote, though. I kind of dig that. Yeah, if you're going to push the sentence, you got to chop his head off. Yeah, and he is, like, Sean Bean is, like, the king of honorable in, in this. He's so... Well, are you going to feel... Okay, do you think mm-hmm. that if... Okay, well, eventually, I'm sure mm-hmm. that he will figure out that, yes, there are White Walkers, so they're not going to yeah. show them and they're not be. I wonder yeah. if he will have a moment of, like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have killed that guy. But regardless yeah. of why he mm-hmm. ran, he still ran, which That's, is you're not supposed to he, do. And he is, as a character, is a very rule guy. He's like, you right. did what you did, and you knew so what would regardless. happen. Regardless. So this is, they actually found a dead deer when they were say, shooting. pretty real. Yeah, they actually just, like, legitimately found this, and we were just going to use it, but it had been dead for two days when they were shooting Ooh. around it, so it stunk something awful. Ooh. No, that's a dead elk. <laughs> like, what an idiot. Like, what? You're so dumb. <laughs> like, well, it's a good thing they're bringing him out here to learn shit because Jesus. <laughs> That'd be, and then he comes out and he goes, dead elk. Good. <laughs> He's doing very well. Um, <laughs> Leaps and bounds. Yeah. So they got uh, Timothy Van Patten to direct this. Uh, he is a perennial HBO director. He directed uh, episodes of The Wire, Sex in the City, Sopranos, Boardwalk Empire, I think. But like, this is probably when you have such a big project that you're selling, Like, this could be a very... Oh. Yeah. So what we're seeing here is a dire wolf that died. So dire wolves are just wolves that are gigantic. And that's actually the house emblem of the stark family ah uh, so, so that's like their sacred animal yeah and all the maggots coming off them. yeah i know it's so gross right it's a freak oh it's a dire wolf yeah yeah and they're not supposed like that's like that's one of the things that's i can't so grow weird. facial hair so yeah. i use my <laughs> it's, a co- locks. it's a comb under yeah but uh it looks but, like he was fighting with yeah that thing mm-hmm. and he's got stabbed yeah, so that's a good point that Richard Madden just made. Thank you, Richard. Uh, he has... Oh, puppy. Oh. It had puppies. You know the rule. All puppies of direwolves' heads have to be chopped off yep. at the dog head chopping well, off you're station. Not, you're actually not that wrong. Oh, my Lord. Look, <laughs> look, 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 look. He just said we got to kill the puppies. 
because Holy these are like fuck. These be, guys are brutes. Because these guys aren't just wild animals; they're essentially monsters, right? right? So it's just like, dear God, this kid's witnessing a lot of murder. Yeah. Hey, you gotta grow up sometime. Shoosh. Uh, There's a, you're going to find a lot in this series. Yeah, like, why would you kill something that's on the shield of your, like, this guy's got a point. Like, yeah. what the fuck? Like, yeah. We, but, uh, yeah, it's, uh, you'll, you'll find a lot of the roles of kids being somewhat big in this, uh, series is every now and again, you'll see like, because like people's parents end up being like, all their parents are dead and now they're in charge type thing. And it, oh, it you comes probably up want one of these guys on your side. Let me tell you. Yeah. And, well, and at the very least, they're adorable now. If they stop being That's adorable, say about all babies. Huge, no, but I'm saying if they stop being adorable before they get huge, kill it then. <laughs> it's just like all babies. Yes. That's why well, you're three now. I you live, know what happens in this house. You I, kill all. Yeah. yeah my son, I, I don't know how anybody lives. My son's cute, so it ended up working out okay. Oh, what's this? So this but is. You found something. So what we're learning. Oh. So that's Jon Snow, as they keep calling him. He does not have the name Stark, but he is Ooh. Ned Stark's son. He's his bastard son. Ah, so Ned and Stark is is Sean Bean. Bean. So oh, he still lets his bastard son hang around. That's well, nice of him. There is a kind of like a code of like having bastards in this world, and they all they're not allowed to have their family name. He has the name Snow because he's from the north. Uh but there's also like sand and irons and like all like depending so on they're flowers, all bastards. Depending on where well, they it's are. It's hilarious they're... that they're all having bastards and then yeah. like the bath the son has to like maybe you could stop having bastard children so they don't have to go through this hell. I know, right? Look but at the eyeballs in this guy. Yeah, he's got sweet eyeballs. Holy fuck yeah rocks for eyes over here. He's got that weird uh, So okay so wait a second. Yeah this is the capital of the seven kingdoms correct so like sean beans that was one kingdom yeah he's in one of the seven and kingdoms. so this is the hot like the upper like these guys rule the seven kingdoms or is just this yes. is just kind of like the, the king, town square for the whole place the king rule the king lives in king's landing and he is the ruler of the seven kingdoms okay yes so the other kingdoms so, don't actually have kings they're just like plots of land figurehead so, yeah, so yeah. sean bean has to has to like he's being bossed by this guy like yes. this guy's the boss of boss so he's just like yeah the level boss yeah so there's there's basically levels here so you have lords of these different areas so west so uh winterfell is one of the kingdoms right and but he is also warden of the north which he covers a lot of area that he's kind of the boss of right right and then there's a warden of the west a warden of the east and a warden of the south but then there's also lords of all these chunks oh, of areas the fuck Right. I'm sure as they introduce him, you, you get it, right? It's not like mm-hmm. a big fucking... Yeah, we're, look at this Briscoe County Jr. looking motherfucker. Yeah, handsome motherfucker. Who's she? she? She's the, in shit. Lena Headey, she was in uh, Dread. Uh, she was like the drug dealy lady. She was Sarah Connor in the TV show of Terminator. Uh, okay. Uh, she's in a lot of stuff. We will cover her more later. But yeah, she's talking about how this shit. guy should be like the right hand man of the king. He's yes. like, I don't, so, I don't need that shit. I got shit going on on the side. Yeah. So they are brother and that it, those were twin brother and sister. Those okay. were um, that was Cersei and Jamie Lannister. And so they are the kids of the king who runs that place. No. She is the wife of the king, and she, and then he is the brother, the brother of the also, wife of the king. Yes, who's also the king. He's also like the king's guard. He's like he's part of his like royal guard. Okay, type thing. I've seen this lady in a lot of shit, man. Her the, with the blue dress here. Yeah, I know. You know what? She actually reminds me again. We were talking. You were talking about Brave earlier. Somebody uh, that video game. You were yeah, playing Horizons Zero Dawn. Like she reminds me of if uh, the girl from Bra- if Merida was all grown up. Ah, she looks a lot like her. She kind of sounds like it and all that. Um, I feel bad like ignoring these characters because I, like I said, I only want to cover like a couple people at a time. Otherwise, like if I'm trying to talk about, oh, no, there's this person, like we'll be oh, doing that. Right, right. Who'd you pick this one? Uh, it's Sean Bean and Mark Addy. Okay. So now we've gone back to their kingdom. Yeah. So they now only showed us the other guys real yeah. quick just to fuck me right over. I know. And you, you, now I'm like, are these guys where those guys are now? Yeah. Or? And they were at a funeral. It was important though because they were at this funeral. So John Aaron has died who's that, he was son? no he was the hand of the king who's like essentially like like he is like his right hand man for all decisions and if the king's not around he's the person who runs the show and all that kind of thing but john aaron was also his like great mentor like when they went off to war and stuff. yeah she he said that he was like a father. father to you yeah. she said to him right yeah he was he was a father to him and to uh 
and to the king. So he like, well. sounds like he's so. going to take his kids in or something. He asked about the boy and something else. Yeah, you'll, his there, daughter or something. There's a, there's a lot of that's going to be. Ooh, added. the king is coming to Winterfell. Yeah, you would think they would want to because it, it's, it's like if you have like a nice sw- sweet spot in L.A., you're like, oh, I'm going to come up to Alaska for a little while and just chill. Uh-oh. Fuck that noise. So he's coming for something. He's like, he's got a reason he's coming here. The expect their expectation Ooh. is he's going to be asked to be the new hand of the king. Ah, uh, right. Ooh. And seeing as the that hand of the record. king was just just died, they're like, yeah, maybe. And that's why they were talking with the other guy. Yeah, yeah. Precisely. This should be anybody who's like me watching movies. You should be listening to this right fucking now. Yeah, this is a, this is a good way to get you through it. Uh, <laughs> this is one of the many old men. Uh, he is, is a, he a monk or something. He's a, called a maester. Who, yeah, by all intents and purposes, he's essentially a monk Pretty and a priest. Right. Oh, and Jesus, uh, this looks like a fun yeah. shave. Jesus, um, he's whispering. The writers of this episode said this is the worst epi- the worst thing they've ever written. But he said there was no continuity between the scenes because, like, they were shaving in one scene and then they weren't in another, and then like the two the other scenes that they slapped together didn't really go back to back. So they literally just wrote this to throw in between. Right. Them. Hey, man, what you gotta do? But you get some shirtless, sexy young boys. Yeah. Here you go. Um, this thing's got some for everybody, right? Yeah, but it's as good enough as, as good a time as any though to talk about uh, David Is Benioff. It really? Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> uh, David Benioff and DB Weiss, who created this, and they are the ones who are currently working on a new Star Wars uh, story. And okay, potentially. Are they a like trilogy. the showrunners or whatever? They are the showrunners. They also well, create. The they're the crea- the creators and the uh, and they wrote a lot of the episodes. They wrote this episode as well. Uh, but uh, David Jesus Benioff kid. wrote. Uh, David Benioff wrote Troy and the Kite Runner. Uh, he wrote X Men Origins Wolverine and the upcoming Gemini Man with Will Smith. And oh, Will that movie Smith. looks all right, actually. And then um, the dogs are getting bigger. But yeah, uh, they've also together they've got a new show called uh, coming out. I think on HBO called The Confederate, and it's uh, basically like what if the what if we lived in a world where the South won the Civil War and there's still slavery and all that kind of it's stuff. It's kind of like the plot of like Wolfenstein Two. Sure. The game. Sure. Sure, it is. I'm on board. They're climbing around. It's so... Oh, again, it's so crazy to see how far these people come. Like, this kid's, like, maybe, what, 12 years old here? Something. And then, you, like, he's a man when the show's done. Because, like, they took... Not only was the show eight seasons long, they took upwards of it a year and a half between some of the seasons. So That was like, murder people. Oh, the, the, Right? I did it the right way, man. Yeah. I was just fucking waiting. That's a yeah. good time uh, show yeah. right there, the dog. Yeah. So, well, and they also point out, like, because that's another thing, too. It's not like it's a day's trip. Like, it was probably a month for them to get. The from, king is, yeah. yeah. It was probably, yeah, but a month from the king to get from there to here type thing, right? Right. It's like such a big oh, neat, neat looking helmet. What's her name's got on there? Whatever yeah. that is. Yeah, just a helmet. Just wearing somebody's helmet. Just a big old penis Where helmet. Where are these castles they're filming? These look real. Um... I'm sure some of it's. It sad. looks sure real to me. The whole place. There, I'm sure some of it is kind of ruins or it's something like that. But he's yakking the whole time. Yeah, flapping his dog gums. Look at. I never noticed that before, to be honest. Uh, you can see Sophie Turner in this shot. She's currently playing uh, the Phoenix. Oh, the there Phoenix. she is. She's got nice boobs. You get to see her boobs in this? She was very young in this episode. So uh, no, <laughs> like she's like what? maybe thirteen. Oh, okay. Well, I'm thinking of yeah. her now from Dark yeah. Phoenix. Yeah. <laughs> and see, I this save. Is, wink, again, wink. Again, this is the hard part of uh, watching time go by. <laughs> it's like watching, a, it's like seeing like Alyssa Milano in like Who's the Boss and then going, I've seen your boobs and other things. Yeah. I get That's it. the way to do it. Yeah. Split uh, screen <laughs> while wanking. Or just some kind of like Photoshop amalgamation of it's the a, two. It's a game. It's called a game. The game is called Am I a Pedophile? Yes. What you do is you can do split, is always split yes. screen. See, Alyssa Milano's naked here mm-hmm. in her kid picture, and you wank to the right and try not to let your eyes grow to the left at yeah. any point in time. Mm-hmm. And if they do, you have to take a drink. <laughs> take... Yeah, I'm never gonna stop wanking. I'm just like, who, who has the time, right? This looks neat. Here he comes. So, and you're seeing where's a lot all of the different... badasses. Like, where's this dude? Well, you saw the one, the guy with the wolf mask, cool. and he was, he's got his thing. And then these gold cloaks oh, are go. like the king's guard, like they, oh, the, like the, the his very specific. So, Mark Addy, I don't know if you're gonna recognize him. I know a lot of people don't at first glance. Do you recognize? Like, can that you? That guy. Yes. Let me keep looking here. 
Yeah. Okay. So I I will continue this to talk. Fucking that's king a podcast here, right? Otherwise, so, yeah, he, right? he, no, no, I don't. Okay. Um, he was uh he he made his Ooh, break look. in the Full Monty. Oh uh, yes, there played, you go. Played Fred Flintstone in Flintstones Viva Rock oh, Vegas. Oh my god! Tonight we shower. He must have uh, a pedigree in other things because, yeah. like, wow. He's also in. He played Friar Tuck in Robin Hood. There you go. That's so, how I know him. He yeah. looks like exactly the same. Mm-hmm. So I love this. So you get this. This great moment between them. <laughs> he walked up like he was going to kill him. I know. Well, it's because he's being <laughs> gives them the little gut nod. <laughs> so this is when we're uh, finding out these guys were actually like these bros. were childhood They're bro friends. Bros. They're uh, bro bros. How weird would that be? Like, like realistically, if all of a sudden I was named king of everything, like how weird would that just be? And I just come in like, hey, how you doing? You're like. Your your grace, <laughs> like, just you, know, like you, you you already act like it, so you might as well just give you the title. Yeah, all right, I, I deserve <laughs> He's it. Like, cool, sure. <laughs> um, what's What's interesting? Oh, here this is a little introduction for all the people that yeah. forgot. Even though so I just saw him five, ten, seven. She looks exactly the same. She does. She does, and she's very she's tall. big. She's very tall. I saw her standing next to Jessica Chastain. Yeah. My God, that X Men movie looks fucking atrocious. Oh, couldn't. But couldn't she be is huge. Yeah. Yeah. She's like a giantess. Yeah. Well, the, the best thing is because there's a. Uh, oh, I'm there's not even going to spoil it, but you, there's you'll you'll see her compared to other people during the series, and you're just like, oh my the god, the queen's like, twin must be brother. T- yeah. So she's married to that big old yes. thing. She's married in. She's wearing a lot of furs and stuff, and the way they shoot her and stuff. Ooh. She was actually pregnant during the shooting of this episode. So I they... I'm not feeling the love for her. No. Is she the new queen? Um, new ish well all of her her kids are his are the king's kids okay, so okay. time time I'm, has passed like over a decade at okay, least because i'm not seeing the love here for her i'm almost getting a little attitude ish mm-hmm. like she doesn't like them they don't yeah. like her probably yeah. a thing who you likes know what? to travel sean bean probably banged her yeah just uh, before she got with the king so he's yeah. she's still like you figure you left uh, me now i'm stuck with this guy i'm gonna uh, be with you yeah <laughs> she's like melania trump yes She's like, now I'm stuck. I just wanted to get some money and a green card. Now that's I'm the a, fucking first lady. That's actually a fantastic. Yeah, she's like, I'm the fucking queen to this guy. Good I guarantee Lord. you that's probably exactly the r- cr- truth. Yeah. I can read situations, motherfuckers. <laughs> Was crack skulls and fuck girls. We yeah. need jackets that says that. Crack skulls and fuck girls. Nice. In brackets, boys. I'm yeah. not making two jackets. Yeah. I'm going to no, I'm gonna get it all wrong. Fuck girls cracks. <laughs> No, that works all right. Yeah, that works out even better. No, it's it's good, but it's just like it just sounds sort of weird. It's like just the like crack you know of the elbow works. or like the crack of the knee. Yeah. So he's, oh, here he is. He's trying to tell him. So he, he just told him he wants him to be handed to the king. Yes, you will jerk me off. Mm-hmm. That'd be amazing. The king's hand. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I love. Oh, uh, he's he's so good in this. I was so concerned because i saw him and i'm like he's kind of like a comedy guy like right. i don't know and i i'm like i don't know that this is to be a comedy but he's kind of a not jovial but he's he's a big character you yes. know what i mean like he's a like he's very broad and so well the decisions that he can make are the decisions a comedian can make right it's fine well even if he's say, being dramatic comedian actors make great dramatic actors because mm-hmm. they get the pauses and the yeah I don't know whether he just agreed to it or not. He said he didn't really want the position, and then he said like he kind of wants to rule together with him. He said, "Oh, here bas- he is." He said basically, "No, he's yeah, pretty much." Not. He he is like oh, bound by honor. Look at this he's young like, handsome oh, no, devil. I know. Eh? Well, a big thing about them is they are all blondes in like the book, and oh. so they made him blonde. So he was just oh, getting some, yeah, just getting some sweet blowy from a hot whore uh, from the northern girls. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, you're gonna get no shortage of uh, right. of, of unnecessary nudity. Oh, right on. Ah. <laughs> the Northern Horrors got nice boobies. Yeah, this woman is in a lot of episodes too. Is she? Yeah, she's like the the resident, oh. uh, like I, all the all like all the hoovers yeah. you'd see in. Uh, oh, I think I just saw yeah. some fuzz. It looked like he was just getting into a uh, rim job position. Like he was getting <laughs> up on all fours. And I'm like, <laughs> I know that like little people have to crawl a little bit more and like climb up things and stuff, but it just looked like he was like, I'm going to get a tongue in my butt. Who are they talking about him? Yeah. Yeah. She's talking about him. Yeah. He's so, and I, I will tell you like the first like couple of seasons are nothing compared to what he gets into as far as like 
acting chops and like just like later on. Oh, he's so. Oh god, I, to be an actor, eh? But it's you know what though? I would feel like the it was so awkward. Yeah, it was super awkward. You think it's like all cool, but no, there's like a rooms filled with people. And all I can think about is making that poor girl feel comfortable. Yeah, she's so exposed when you. Oh, not that's coming. his brother. Yeah, they're they're brother. He's the young brother of the younger brother of the twins. Uh, Peter Dinklage, yes, is the younger his younger yes. brother. Yeah, but okay. he's considered like he's the smart one in the family. Right. Like he's so I wonder what he's doing here. Why isn't he with the fam? He's just outside of town fucking women. Oh, okay. He's, he's, just, he's just, just on a party weekend. Yeah, yeah he got a couple extra coins. He got some yeah. blow and a hooer. So and that's why he's coming. He's oh, like, you, he's oh, here like, come the rest of them. He's like, you're supposed to be at the feast, right? And he's like, I oh, mean, okay. I, oh, there you go. You know, I was literally just about to say they need one with no boobs, and there wasn't. Nice. It's like you can't have four or five girls no. with big old boobs. You gotta mix it up. I want. Yeah. You gotta have like a chick with one boob. If I if I am yeah if I am going for hey, one uh, chick's multiples, at least gotta have one penis. If I'm going for multiples, it has to be variety. Like yeah. Different colors, different colors, shapes, different smells. Definitely different smells. Mm, so yeah. this was an important thing too. This is where um so they're down in the Stark family crypt, and you find out the that Starks. the king the king was in love with. Sean Bean's sister and she died and it's actually this is what he's talking about right now yeah. she belonged with me yeah, and as we learn too it's essentially what made him king because the guy like a, a Targaryen who was the, that family was in charge at the time uh, raped uh, raped her and she died giving birth the Targaryens yeah and then raped so, her and killed her this yeah. is before they were together yes and this is yeah that's sort of what he's yeah no they were in love at this point but then she went off and then this happened and then she had a baby uh, or she was gonna have a baby and then she died and then he went mad and then they the went, and they, she's a targaryen we're getting uh, into that right ah, now okay here we go so essentially they were the family that was in, that ruled the kingdom and then when they lost the war to robert and his gang. So this cohorts. is the side that lost the war. Yes. They used to rule. Yeah, but these are the only people who are left from that family. They're the ki- they're the children who escaped. The Targaryens. So they from this like, war. Okay. Yeah. Are they outcasts? Or they get they, they seem yeah. like they're doing pretty good still. They live across the ocean. They have run away. They don't live in Westeros, so they're not subject to that Ooh, kingdom. The plot right now. thickens, does Literally. it? Hmm. This guy looks I think like he could have played the Joker on a TV show. I, I think that they, I think they're doing a good job of introducing people so far. Yeah, yeah, it's not oh, bad. Look, she's got that uh, like the, you can fuck her right in the throat yeah. hole. So Amelia Clark is the second person we're introducing you to who's played uh, Sarah oh Connor because she was Sarah Connor in Terminator Genesis. Oh uh, no way! Yeah, is that really her? Yeah, that's really her. What a fucking show! <laughs> Already, <laughs> I told you you were gonna enjoy this. Look man. at this. Close-ups of her boobs? Yeah, the little bumps. Her areola bumps. This was like, this was not her. He's got to inspect her to make sure she's okay for the tub. She cannot sully the tub. Do not sully that tub. Who is that guy? That's her brother. Oh, nice. Her brother. He is basically, he's just saying right now, he's going to, he is wants to return home and get hit, because now he's heir to the throne. He's Loki. Yeah, totally. Uh, but to him, he is heir to the throne because his it was their father who was king, right? He's so, the king now. So that means he's the king, except somebody else is on the throne. But he's like, that's a usurper. I belong uh, on the throne. But the only way we're going to be doing that is if we get an army and go home and conquer. Is this right? like your first day on set? Like, she's the first second we sen- see her. She's like, full on. Look at this. It essentially was. What a fucking show. Yeah. So they're pissed off that... Uh, why wouldn't he have been the king then? Because they went to war and they took over. So they don't give it to like like he like uh, the king Robert Baratheon who is Mark Addy there. He with Sean Bean and all these other people overthrew the king. So you don't right. then give it to the king's kid. Well no, but I mean like when they ran off they started their own thing again. No, they didn't start their own thing. They're living somewhere else where there is a thing. They're they're not. Oh, starting, so yeah. they walked into somebody else's yeah. thing. Remember, now. they're There's not a dude. They're not in a kingdom in their kingdom right now. They're right. just on another. They're land. like on the run. They gave them yeah. a chance to stay here. There's still somebody yeah. that runs the show, not yeah. him. And they're and living, he feels because he's the rightful heir yeah. from the king way over there. Yeah. Like he should be the king here. And they're living. No, they don't think he should be the king here. They think he should be the king there. Ah, he needs to go home and become king where Sean Bean is and all that. Yes. Oh fuck! There's Aquaman. Aquaman is in the house. This is his breakout role for sure. Uh 
Stargate and Atlantis. The absolute, yeah, I know. To see him in that, then to see him in this, like he's just fucking jacked in this, and he's perfect for this role. He looks it, like the way they describe him in the book. It's it, like I can uh, I can see them just going, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's definitely just Jason Momoa. Just stay, hey, yeah. And like George R. R. Martin just says Jason Momoa by accident. So who, who, are, who are these fucking guys? So these are the Dothraki. They're horse lords. They are. Uh, they're like kind of barbarians in their own manner. Oh, they're going to try and give her to him. Yes. Oh, buddy. You're, he's going to tear you up, girl. <laughs> exactly. That's oh, precisely what they're yeah. doing, though, is they're, they're offering him as a wife in exchange for them being his army. Ah. Because they're supposed to be Ooh, one of the most savage girl, armies. Girl, your nipple's all hard. She's all half naked. Yeah. Everybody can see through the damn thing. Mm -hmm. Something that was important to note, too, is when she was getting in that bathtub, they're like, no, it's too hot, it's too hot, and she just gets in, and she's just stone-faced yeah. when she got in the tub. I just don't, well, I, I well, don't want okay, you to miss so the, moments so, so the brother, the brother, you know, I saw it, yeah, oh, okay, she yeah. was like, oh, rrr, you know? Yeah. And the lady's like, my lady, it's too hot. Yeah, okay, good. I just, like, because we're talking but, and stuff, so I'm afraid buddy, of Buddy was, that's this. what he was talking about. Like, yeah. he's like, you gotta make yourself pretty for Buddy. Mm -hmm. Don't fuck it up. Yeah, precisely. Yeah, he liked her. Yeah. <laughs> she, her head would be on the fucking floor. Yeah. Like, look at the sets that they've, like, or the places that they've chosen to shoot. This looks like a real Like, place. none of that is green screen. That's just, like, we've gone Aren't to you a place. walking around in this? Man, this girl is uh, really, out of all the Game of Thrones people, I think yeah. she's doing the best. Her and Peter Dinklage, I think, are doing the best. She's in yeah, a yeah. ton of shit. She is in a, yeah, she's got a lot of stuff coming up right now. Not as, not actually in as much as you'd think. Right. Like, she's in Solo, and she's in, like, but, but like, like, when... Like when you see the actual number of jobs, but at the same time, they were so taken up with this job at the time that, I mean, it wasn't like you had a lot of other crap you could really be doing at any point. And the jobs she has taken, like Solo and stuff like that, and the Terminator movies and things like right. that, take up a lot of your time. You know, she's not going oh, out and girl. shooting 12 indies when she's shooting one giant right. movie, right? Well, she's been in some big ones. Yes, she's been in some really important ones, and she's going to be in more to come for sure. Girl, I know going home. What the fuck do you think? Yeah. No, oh, you gotta saying. love that you like you, your your whole thing is bargaining your sister off to some mm -hmm. fucking big maniac who will probably in turn be nicer to her than you fucking will sell yeah. her off. Yeah, he he get, probably, he's probably a big pussy cat. He gives you a uh, yeah. This guy definitely like he, he gives you a very good. Uh, Cal Drago, say, cool name, eh? Yeah, I know Cal Drogo. See, that's what I say. I would let Dear him in all 40, and he's like 40 of them and their Wow. Horses. Nothing like, like stroking her cheek and pretending you're all cool and just telling her that like you can, yeah. you can run a train with 40,000 fucking horses. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. But he's definitely doing that kind of, and you can tell he's been doing that uh, abuse thing forever yes. towards her. Yeah. Like, to, like, you have to be subservient to me. What's interesting is the original, this isn't the original pilot. They reshot this pilot after several months. Like, I think like nine months earlier or something like that, they shot this pilot. Right. And then, but she was not the, she was not Daenerys. They cast somebody else and then they didn't like her. So they That's reshot right. it with her. Yeah, I heard um, that. It was wait, Tamsin wait. something. Who, who's the, she's. Tamsin Merchant. She's one of the daughters. Yes, yeah, she's one of, of the Stark Sean daughters. Bean. Yes. And they're trying to set her up with a prince. Uh, he, yes. Because they're talking right now. He's like, oh, he's so handsome. I don't know if he likes well, me. Well, that also, that conversation happened in the crypt too, where he was, uh, where he was saying, uh, like he wants him to come and be hand of the king and stuff, and then he's like, "Look, we've got we can get this stuff sorted out." He's like, "I've got a daughter, I've got a son, you've got a daughter. Let's marry them. We'll That's join right. Houses. Yeah. Then we'll be like bonded forever, type." Thing. And she wants it to happen though. What's her name? She looks wants like. it because she, she it's a handsome prince, and she's got those like delusions of I'm gonna be a princess. I'll be a princess. Thing. Yeah, it ain't like uh, I like this yeah. king guy though. He seems pretty cool. Yeah. Like he tells Sean, being like, stand the fuck up, dude. We're like in a private room. We don't have to put all the pomp on with me. We're like bro bros. Yeah, yeah. Like, where's this old, like his old ladies are there just watching and make out oh, with some yeah. other chick. And like she's she's like, good. I like mega her. Mega gorgeous. She wasn't in uh, Vikings? No. Is she? No? No, not that All those I know blonde of. chicks look the fucking same. That's the problem. Holy and fuck. She, she, and she, she could is, be any character from Vikings. Well, what's crazy is, too, with all the wigs and shit like that, because she is actually, she's got, like, short brown hair. Amelia Clark has short she brown looks hair. Like, uh, like, she, <laughs> she really reminds me of, like, uh, what's her name from, uh, she's Joker's girlfriend. Harley like, Quinn. Suicide, yes. Yeah. No, but the actress, oh, Margot, Robbie. Margot Robbie. She kind of looks like Margot Robbie. I don't okay. Know. All right, I, I could sort of see that. Oh, he has um, to sit outside because he's the bastard. Yeah, but I guess you'll see, apparently, if you're looking 
through and i think that was why the shaving and the uh, and the being shaven and unshaven uh for these guys was a thing because some scenes they shot the first one were from the original pl- right. pilot and some scenes were from the after pilot. Well, what's the, they didn't like the pilot they didn't you know they weren't happy overall hbo and the and like a bunch of people they were kind of like eh, i need some changes and I'm glad but, they didn't just give up on it no but as far as i know the only Oh, no, that's not true. Uh, Tamsin Merchant played Daenerys. Ooh, and I just then, missed something right there. Sorry. Jennifer L. He just um, talked to him about, yeah. like, he's like, I want to come with you. Yeah, he wants to join the Night's Watch because he's a bastard son and he feels so out of place. Right, here. He but he just so said alone. you don't even know what that means. Yeah. There's something going on. Well, because it's it's such a commitment. He's like, if everybody dies, you're the king. Yeah. No, Wink. But the, <laughs> no, but the idea is that um, if you... If you commit to this, like you, there's no you'll, turning you'll see, back. There's absolutely there's no turning, turning back. Yeah, it's 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 this or death. Oh, I hear the talking here, and I like him already. I like uh, Peter Dinklage. Oh man, he's so good, and he makes this character so like I almost feel like they had to change like the course of the books just because of who he is. Uh, mm-hmm. Ned Stocks. Well, I like this too because there's like a lot of importance. They pick their words very carefully. So to use the word bastard in this is very important because you're going to go through this and you're going to meet a lot of bastards. You're going to meet a lot of. <laughs> I meet a lot of bastards all day long. <laughs> yeah, I know. I went to I went to this bar the other day. It's weird that we just bastards. watched like the MCU with Stark, and now this yeah. is like the House of Stark. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, you could call, call stop calling him a bastard over and over again. Might be nice. Yeah. No, but I like what he's doing right here. He's actually teaching oh. him a little bit. He's like, he's like, why are you ah. trying to hide it? He's like, where? And he's like, I can't hide what I am. So why would I? Oh, so I, I see you. I one got of the you. best. I got one you. of the best lines in the whole series here. Boom. Because yeah, all dwarves he, are bastards in their father's eyes. So you get a. You've already from that one line, you get exactly what yep. he's going through with his family. And yeah, all he's that true. Kind of he's shit, right there. Right? Just own it, bro. Like stop sitting yeah. out here being all moody in the fucking yeah. barn. But you like we we've gotten a lot out of it. You know he's friendly with his brother. You know he's not friendly with with other members of his family, right? Like particularly his father. This is good old Benjamin Stark. So these are brothers. One the one on the right, Benjamin. Oh, that's his uncle. The, he, no, well, they're brothers here, but it's the other guy's uncle. It was John Snow's. Uncle. Right. Yes, that's right. John yeah. Snow's uncle Benjamin. That's how that's how he pronounces it. Benjamin. Oh, look, he is feeling guilty for chopping his head off too. Look, I was right. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's he doesn't like the rule himself, but he no. has to enforce yeah. it. And that's why, like, you you just fall immediately fall in love with him because you're like he's that just is so doing good. It. I'm so glad that they had this scene right here. Yeah. So much craziness going on too, and it's really cool. They they're setting up so goddamn much, like right off the bat. My I remember it might be the next hand of the king, right? Because when I decided to try this show. It was just out of a, like, I think what, it was maybe three and a half seasons in or something like that. And people were kind of raving about it. And I'm like, what's the big deal? I'm like, it's I just going to be, same thing it's too. just going to be a cheap Lord of the Rings. And so then I watched it and I watched this first episode and I'm like, whoa. And I was just like, let's I get guess to work. This is, so I guess, you know, Sean Bean at least is a nice guy and he's not like fucking everything that moves in front of his wife. Yes. Well, hopefully she's got pieces so, on. I'm sure she's got pieces on yeah. the side when he's off somewhere. I mean, well, come on. Like, she's that's a beautiful woman. Essentially, the idea is oh, that no, he, probably is, knows he had a bastard. Know. He had a bastard when he was away. Ah. He was at war and then came back with a son. Like, he was gone for years and then came back with a son type thing. So that's It's kind yours. Of, he tried to argue for the longest time. Then yeah. it was hers. Yeah, you were totally asleep. <laughs> I've been back for a long time. See, she's got such a, like, certain angles, she looks like her. She and then does she looks look like a, super young right the, the, There she looks like a baby. But again, this is part of that. We shot some episode, ah, some of it before and some t- of it she after. She looked older before. And she probably did. She probably, like, she probably got her period. You actually just missed there. Did she ask she if asked she, her. Ble- if she oh, yeah. got her period? She's like, do you bleed yet? Yeah. She's like, I skinned my knee the other day, and that bled. Yeah. She's like, yeah, close enough. That's yeah. a no. Sweet. That means we can That's fuck no. you. Yes. <laughs> She's asking, I'm just asking for the a friend of mine. She means the king. Yeah. I would love, see, this is one thing of like this, oh, this time guy. that I would love is just the feasts. Right? I it's want like the, just I want medieval times. I want to have, yeah, well, it's true. But you I have, got, well, you, you remember, threw up on the bus. I got food poisoning. Well, I don't know. It was, food poisoning. It wasn't like food poisoning takes time, but I, it sure it, something, does. something didn't agree with me and it made me throw Yeah, your anxiety. Up. No, no, because I can tell the difference between those two because that one starts with dizziness. <laughs> this one started with stomach grossness. Right. This is an awesome, badass alpha male con- conversation. So they just asked if he would fight in the tournament to celebrate him coming. 
Oh, because they're having like yeah. a big a big tournament. Yeah. Well, they always did. They always have these. So I love that. He's the one I fight a man for real. I don't want him to know what I. That's can a do. good. That's good. Oh. So he's because because he's yeah. the king, the queen's brother. He's up there fucking with. Uh, yeah. He's just. Oh, there's a food fight breaking out. Yeah. Well, also he's considered one of the best swordsmen in the country. And so then, Buddy's trying to be all like, I could beat you. Yeah, and that's basically what you got, bro. You see, everybody talks about you. Because yeah. they'll jail. You're right. It was a big cock off right there. Mm-hmm. Sean so, Bean took it very well. So everybody is super, well, not super aged up, but everybody's aged up in this story because, A, you're going to see a lot of them get fucked. And B, because it just, for casting purposes, it just made more sense and stuff. Uh, like Amelia Clark's character, who we've already seen naked and fondled, uh, she's 13 years old. Who? Uh, Amelia Clark's character, the blonde uh, Daenerys, you know yeah, when he yeah, took yeah. off her dress and he started playing with her tits. Yeah, that's what's her name. Yeah, what's her actual name? Amelia Clark. It is. Yeah, the chick from Solo. Yeah, I, I, I thought just, her name was something else. I don't know. I did say every it was time, Amelia Clark. I know, but every time we say it, I'm just like, I don't, I don't think she doesn't yeah. look like an Amelia yeah. to me. It's like it's with saying, an E. Yeah, the, Emilia. Emilia. Yeah. Emilia Clark. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not gonna remember that. Okay, Amelia. We'll get, Amelia. We'll get that. But anyways, yeah, she's in the book. She's thirteen years old, and, and that scene still happens where he like takes <laughs> off her clothes and like <laughs> fucking right on George R. R. George R. R. Martin. Oh, right. You looks, just put it in a different time period, and that's what happened back then. And it's true, right? right? If this was now, it'd be like, this is so disgusting. <laughs> old enough to pee, they old enough for me. Came from the fucking like <laughs> King Arthur's court. Of course it did. Right? You got justified somehow. Uh oh, they yeah. just got a, like a note from Dracula. <laughs> Pretty you see much. that like stamp thing? Yeah, well, they got a. Uh, they... She's in a lot of shit too. I'm telling you yeah. right now. I can I recognize her. Mm-hmm. Who? Who? Who's this? Right. What? So she just Fuck got. She just got a message from her sister who was married to John Aaron. Okay. And she's now to throwing who? that in the fire. John Aaron's the guy who was the hand of the king who's dead. Okay. I know it's good. We're, okay. we're no, gonna it's get good. there. It's good that you're here. It's good. We're gonna get there. Oh, I'm sure you would be getting it no problem. Oh, yeah, we're talking to each other. No, but I'm doing my best to try and like you know yeah. do do both. If I'm a little mm-hmm. quiet here, it's because I'm. Uh, no, it's fine. That's why know? I'm trying to fill it in. Yeah. But um, the uh, so basically what the letter just said was that the Lannisters killed John Aaron. Ah. So like Cersei and Jamie and all those people, and then they're like, yeah, but she's probably just crazy with like set with grief and stuff. And he's like, but you know, she knows what it would cost her to send this message. If it right. got caught, she would be dead. So who is she saying killed them? The Lannisters. So like Cersei, That's another the queen, kingdom. No, the no the king's wife, ah. and all and bro, and twin brother and somebody in there. So the Lannister. It's a it's a whole family. It could be one of a million so people. So the that, ki- so one of the king's own people killed his right hand man. Ah uh, yes. And now this just raises the stakes for him because he's, he's like, like, oh, fuck, I'm the only person he trusts. Like, yeah. yeah. And he's got some sick ass scars <laughs> going on. Like, well, it's cool because eh? he's like, you've been in battle and he's got like, just like, just to think about that from a makeup standpoint. It's like, yeah, we got to give your body some scars. Yeah, just yeah to... you got to have your shirt open all the time. Yeah. Actually, one of the scars on his on his face there. It's small. Good acting Sean Bean. I know. Eh? He's uh, he's excellent. He's so fucking good. Um, but he's got a Woo. scar on his face from Harrison Ford from Patriot Games. He like hit him in the face with like a hook. Oh yeah, man. Sean Bean's been in shit forever, man. Yeah, man. Patriot Bean, Games. And still, man, right. I forgot he was in that. He actually, do you know for who, England James? He, I, I think I mentioned it when we did um, uh, Goldeneye, but he had auditioned to be Bond. And for oh, the living daylights. And that's right. I it. think you but, said that in the yeah. Look at Drago. He's gonna stick. He's gonna eat live snakes. Yeah. Well, he will. He's, he's been, like, look at how badass they made him look, though, eh? With the friggin' mascara and the, like, just the way they've done the beards and all this stuff. She's like, oh, great, a thing of snakes. Right snakes. Now, that's what I've been looking for. Yeah, well, you can imagine what it's like, because she's been living like a, she's been living like a queen in that palace. That guy, that guy with the beard who was talking to them before and is sitting next to him right, right. now. Uh, they, uh, they were... Uh, like they've been living there since they were children, pretty much just living the high life. And now they're starting to make their preparations to go home. Right. She does really look or he does look like he could be her brother. Yeah. Like totally. He does. And again, it's all in the wigs and stuff like that too, because he does not look like that with his normal hair. Whoa, buddy. You seem to be yelling that shit out here. I know, right? I like the, I like they make him so brazenly. Jesus, like he's bro. like fuck all of these people. I, just because I need I them to serve me. Oh, this girl's getting a, getting it once over here yeah. on the dance floor, and they're really good at twerking here. 
Of course. Like, so we're getting a little bit of a wedding fucking going on. Oh, they all just bang which right actually here. occurred at my wedding, but not like on the dance floor. Like, he's like, yeah, they're all right yeah. there. Good people, par- good party. Yeah, people from the adjoining uh, the adjoining wedding were in our like bathrooms for uh, for our like ho- right. uh, wedding hall, and they were having and like they were having sex. And stuff I missed out on a lot of you stuff missed by not out. needing to, oh, go to the in, bathroom. In a minute, these two guys fighting are going to start banging. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be amazing if they were. If, there should be in just one of these shows. There should be just like a totally bisexual, right? But like, like I'm sure these guys wouldn't give a fuck. No. Oh, there goes yeah. Buddy's gun yeah, hanging right hanging out. out. So this is actually a big thing. Um, they me- they mentioned that earlier too. Is they have their braids. And they like grow longer hair as they like win in battle and stuff. But when they lose in battle, they have to cut off their braid. And then so by their having short hair, you know that they've like experienced the shame of defeat. Right. But I don't know before if you chop your hair off. And that's why his hair is so long because he's never been defeated. Exactly. This show is so much nudity. It's ruining nudity for me. (laughs) Oh, get just getting started. (laughs) Like, my God, this guy. Tell me, listen, listen to this guy talk for two seconds and tell me he shouldn't play like an old Obi-Wan Kenobi style Jedi. I just. Wait. uh, Oh, this guy's from tons of shit, too. Yeah. His name's Ian Glenn. He's actually um, playing. uh, He's playing an older. Bruce Wayne. He's playing an older Bruce Wayne in something. And I'm trying to remember Uh, what it was. It's like Batman Beyond, the new one. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I like something. their little like uh, keep your shit on pin. Mm-hmm. Like these guys, yeah. The house so of whoever they're. Oh, that's the those are the Targaryens. Targaryens. I got. He's a, he's got a cool pin thing keeping mm-hmm. his lapel on or whatever the yeah. fuck. I like. They have their <gasps> critter eggs. <laughs> Pretty oh, much. Oh fuck. So those are dragon eggs. Oh, this guy was selling these. Yeah. At Comic Con, I was yeah. like, "The fuck is this critter egg?" Yeah. No, now, these... if 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 Comic Con. Yeah. It would have been tomorrow. I would have yeah. been like, hey, that's a dragon egg. See, this is why you get you got to be prepared. I was kind of bummed because somebody who I really like from Whoa. Game of Thrones was scheduled to be there. And then that I is, canceled. The that is minute. probably like the greatest gift you could ever. Who gave yeah. her that? Um, the, the super rich dude who they've been living with. Whoa, gave that's that. probably going to work out really well in her favor later on. She said she's they said basically the value of one of them. They're, they're essentially stones. It's a dragon. They're, yeah, well, no, but the, what they said is that they're, like, petrified, right? And oh. So, but he said the value of one of them is, like, beyond Are there, beyond is there no wealth. dragons? Because they're all... They said the dragons are all dead. Uh, the last the last dragons were actually, actually belonged to, like, her uncle or grandfather or something like that. Uh, but they've all since died out, and you'll hear a lot about the dragons moving forward. Right. So, oh fuck! Something's going on here. He's gonna like rape her yeah. and slit her throat on the <laughs> on the altar. <laughs> well, they're ready to yeah, they're ready for their uh, oh Jesus, their moment. Now he's he got her a pretty horse. I thought they. I was like, man, that camel's got four humps and it looks like a horse. It does the way well, it's standing. Well, right does. there, right? <laughs> yeah. My little horse has four humps. Uh, this is your horse. Yeah. This is who will fuck you first. She then is, I go next. She is a. He big. breaks you in because my cock's <laughs> way bigger. <laughs> Yeah, because I'm Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah. She is a gorgeous woman, eh? Who? The only woman who was on screen when I said the horse? that horse. Yes. I don't know. She's all right. I don't know. I think she's a beautiful I don't know why I so fell in love with her so so big time. No, I wouldn't nice fall. Body on her. I wouldn't for for short haired for short uh, brown haired version of her, not as much, but for this version, yes. Yeah, she is pretty, that's for sure. Like she's like, got yeah, like I the wouldn't eyes kick her out of bed lips. for chopping a guy's head off she, and bleeding everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> John, he kind of looks like John Stamos there. Hey, all the better. You you just made her like more attractive to me. <laughs> Any girl that's had uh, John Stamos's penis inside of them, their stock rises. Oh my god! And it's like I I want to have sex with Rebecca Romaine just so I can say that. Oh my I can god. feel him still. <laughs> oh. oh, girl, better give it up. Wow, what a terrible life. Now I know why his Full House band name was Jesse and the Rippers. <laughs> and the Rippers. <laughs> Fucking right, because he's farting during sex all the time. Oh, that would be way better. <laughs> he's, got, he's got sex gas. Yeah. I, I have to feel like the best job on the crew for this was the scouting, like the scouting managers. No way. Like they the literally. Titty scouts. Yeah. No, but like literally they're flying all to all these beautiful places and just taking photos and then like sending them back to the showrunners and going, hey, would this be a beautiful place for us to come and spend a couple of weeks? I wonder if he's going to do it. You betcha. Watch, I'm telling you right now, he's not going to. He's, like, way more sensitive than people think. 
Oh, you see, he's wrecking. Look at the size of his fingers compared to her face. Wipes the tear and then punches her in the face. No. That would be amazing. Like, and again, I don't know, like, the size difference. Like, he's supposed to be a massive man. He is a massive man. Well, he is a massive man, and she's small. Tiny, so it works, right? Yeah, and again, uh, literally, the end of this scene in the book is, and it was her 14th name day. Name day's birthday. <laughs> for the, for right. Me. So, like, literally, oh, she no, was... Oh, no, he doesn't really care. No. So oh, she's you... naked again. Yeah. Yeah, and he's not having this. Uncover them titties, even though I can't see them Show from Show miscast commentary your boobs. The, ca- the camera can't yeah, see I don't your know titties. What to. And just, like, his, like, his hands just look so massive on her that I almost feel like they're scale double hands that are reaching in from Oh, there else. she goes. And that's the other part, is there's not a lot of normal-style sex... All right, so here's doggy or here's the hound. He's got his face all burnt oh, up. Yeah, who's this guy? His, his name's his name is Sandor Clegane, the hound. The hound, he's, and he's he is like the prince's. That guy looks like Fun guard. Boy from. Uh, he does. Pro. Yeah. Whoa, it's, man! I gotta stretch my back out, yeah. man. This fucking like, Game of Thrones nudity is getting me all tense. <laughs> Can't rub off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He's leaving. Yeah, he's going to go with him. Fuck. I think it's a bad idea. I think it's perfectly fine. This I seems like a show where everything's going to work. It's like Entourage. Everything's going to work out. I have no fine. idea what is happening. I've never seen this show. Yeah. I have read nothing about okay, it. Okay, give me. A, this is what we're going to do. End of every episode. Hold on to it if you can. Okay, I don't know if and, I'll remember. Oh, no. Okay, say, say it now then if you don't okay. think I'll remember. I think that this is a plan from the king's family because yeah. they knew by killing the right hand that they, he was going to come and hire him yeah. and he was going to leave, leaving the north open okay. for an attack or to be taken over or something. Okay. But they want him to leave. Okay, cool. The but king doesn't know it. They yeah. do. All right, cool. Um, when we can, let's try and like we'll, we'll try and do a little prediction at the end of every one. Okay, cool. That can count as your prediction. That was That's a pretty my broad, prediction. That's a pretty broad prediction. I guess it doesn't have to be at the end of the episode. No, but by the end of the episode. dog. I know, right? I think this might be right where I've seen. There you go. Right here. Cool. Uh, Sophie Turner, um, who again was the Dark Phoenix, all that stuff. Uh, she actually adopted her dog. That was that because after a point, they get so big that they actually have to make them CG. So no, really. They stopped, so they stopped using the dogs. So they she were just had, gonna throw them in the pit. But yeah. she's like, "No, I'll adopt it, please." Yeah. Well, no, it's that dude went back with the knife. Is like, <laughs> that Mount- now my time? Mountain lion. Fucking mom told you already to stop fucking. Cla- yeah, but oh, when you're gonna listen to your mom, right? Sit right here. This is no, awesome. Is. He's still we're not there yet. You can't end uh, Game of Thrones without some of this. Oh, I, I know what's gonna happen here. So I remember I saying don't spoil it. before I got my wife to. Uh, watch this show this was one of the first things i said i'm like there's so much unnecessary doggy style and that is there put your face up lady look up at me put your face up make eye contact boom there's the queen and her brother by blood banging yeah don't stop let him fucking watch he's gotta he's already learned how to kill he might as well learn how to fuck shit he is I like Nikolai Kosterwaldo a lot. He's like one of those guys, again, who wasn't like a super well-known dude, but he's the perfect dude for this role. Like as the brother? Yeah, because he's smug. Oh, my God, he's going to fucking looking. whip him out the fucking window. Is he? Oh, he's 10 years old. Yeah. He does look like he could be like yeah. Nathan Fillion's good-looking does. double or something. Oh, absolutely. He's got a jaw. He's got His nose is the only thing that's wrong with him. Oh my Sarah. word! <laughs> that is how. So we've seen several dead children. Wow. We've seen a lot of sex. We've seen incest. Ooh, the show ended with incest. Oh my lordy! So that is wow. where we're at for this episode. Oh, that was pretty good so far. Is you good. were yakking through. I think it was pretty good. All righty. Uh, thank you guys so much for. No, us. thank you for forcing me to watch this. Well, I'm happy it's to do pretty that. Pretty good, man. Look at all the tits. You would have had me a tits. <laughs> I thought I told you that. I never thought it was really. I thought people were like, mm. you know, when they exaggerate, you see a couple. I mean, fuck, man, there was like tits all over. I and think I saw some bush. Yeah, yeah there's a little bit of bush. There right be more. On. Yeah, so we got a lot going on. They'll Somehow, even find a way. Her crying while being naked yeah. was even hotter. <laughs> 
Like, is that just me? Yeah. No, that's why he wrote it. I'm like, oh, come on. That's just how I lost my virginity. I was crying while being bent over <laughs> by a large hairy man. So <laughs> by a I, large Samoan. So I get it. He's Samoan, right? I don't think so. But uh, I don't. That, I that wasn't don't Roman Reigns. <laughs> it was. Oh. Well. And Roman Reigns looks oh, less yeah. Samoan than anybody. <laughs> I'm, I look more so yeah, than Roman a, man. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us on this adventure that we are and taking. We begin a new one. And we're going to uh, see you next week with episode two of this show, The King's Road. Well, the show's Game of Thrones. The episode's called The King's Road. And uh, join us. Uh, go to miscastcommentary.com. Uh, check out our Patreon. Well, you know the Patreon, but the, that's where you're going to find all the news based on this kind of adventure. And... We'll see you next week, guys. Later. This has been Binge Watchers on the Wall, a Game of Thrones podcast presented by Miscast Commentary. Visit www.miscastcommentary.com for more information about the podcast and its hosts. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our podcasts wherever you may listen. Thank you for your patronage and good night, but beware, for the night is dark and full of terrors. <laughs>